Welcome you to my YouTube channel. My name is John K. Monsa. In today's video, we'll be answering and solving this um, problem. This question is coming from first paper 2016, July, science, paper 2, specifically physics. The question states, figure 7.1 shows a way of light entering and leaving a glass block. We have this figure. Um, name the rays labeled A to D. Where A is the incident ray, B is the reflected ray, D is the reflected ray, C is the emergent ray. So we can name them, let's just uh, fill in. So A we say that A is the incident incident ray. Then B is the reflected ray. B is the refracted C is the imagined imagined ray C is the imagined ray D is the reflected ray <coughs> Then we go on B. On the diagram, indicate I and R for angles of incidence and angle of reflection, respectively. If you look at A, or let me say, the angle of incidence is between the incident ray and the normal. So it's going to be between A and the dotted line, this one, which happens to be the normal. That's where we are going to indicate our incident angle, then our uh, the the angle of refraction. You know that refraction is the bending of light from one medium to another. So here between the normal and B, this is the angle of refraction. Are like that, yeah. Then, say for a certain piece of glass block, the angle of incidence was found to be 25 degrees, and angle of refraction was found to be 16 degrees. Using this information, calculate the refractive index for this piece of glass block to two decimal places. Um, looking at the glass block, the name. Just hearing the word glass, you can tell that the refractive index of glass is 1.5 without calculating it. But since they are telling us to calculate and to write our answer in two decimal places, let's do that. Uh, as I was saying, so you can use Snell's law to find um, the refractive index of this piece of glass block, which is sine sine r or sine i times n1 equal to sine r times n2. Sine i is sine incidence. The sine incidence, the incident angle. N1 is the refractive index of um, where the incident angle is, where the ray is coming from. So here it's coming from the paper inside the paper. Here we just use the refractive index of air, which is 1. Then you equate it to sine r. The refractive angle, sorry, the refraction angle, then you multiply by n2, the refractive index of the glass block. So you just uh, do the mark here, then at the end you are going to obtain 1.53 of your refractive index of the glass block thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button for more videos